welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. Uh, we are discussing about genome editing and personalized uh, therapy. This is lecture 2 of this module number 11. Uh, genome editing in the development of personalized therapies, uh, the disease factors like oncogenes, uh, cancer stem cells differ from patient to patient. So, personalized therapies appear to be a promising solution as they allow for the precise destruction or restoration of disease cause based on comprehensive genomic analysis of various patients. Uh, the 21st century has been has seen extraordinary advancements in customized therapy as one of the most promising strategies for various human diseases with the use of personalized medicine. Medical professionals may give and plan customized treatment for their patients based on the distinctive genes, protein markers and other components of his patient's uh, body. Uh, the use of JDFN in personalized uh, therapy. JDFN driven gene disruption was primarily demonstrated in 1994 when a three finger protein was uh, constructed uh, to specifically block the expression of the BCR ABL human oncogene that was transformed into a mouse cell line. The BCR ABL fusion gene is the pathological reason of chronic myeloid leukemia and plays a critical role in the resistance of imatinib, a kinase inhibitor that blocks the function of an abnormal protein that signals cancer cells to multiply. So, in this uh, uh, publication by Chu et al, uh, the in vivo preparation by a site specific DNA binding protein designed against an oncogene uh, sequence was uh, published uh, in the journal Nature in 1994. And you can see here uh, the CABL protein uh, tyrosine kinase gene on uh, chromosome uh, 9 uh, was translocated into the BCR gene on chromosome uh, 22 to create a chimeric uh, oncogene known as uh, BCR uh, ABL. The JDFNs were designed to target BCR ABL gene and induce uh, gene modification. So, here in this figure A, uh, you can see targeted sequence of JDFN on the BCR ABL gene. Uh, JDFN was designed to cut exon 1 of BCR ABL gene and it consisted of uh, 4 zinc fingers and a fork and the nucleus together the left hand and the right hand work as dimers to induce the uh, specific DSB, the mechanism of which has been uh, discussed in land in, uh, in, uh, in under the lectures of uh, JDFN technologies. In this figure B, you can see the structure of uh, PAD track JDFN uh, vector. JDFP uh, was uh, fused to Focon nucleus, a nuclear localization signal and uh, the flag tank. The expression of uh, canamycin resistant gene was regulated uh, by the CMB uh, promoter. And in uh, figure C, uh, you can see the sketch of the donor construct and HDR detection scheme. Cleavage of BCR ABL gene created a substrate for HDR which may use the donor DNA fragment containing a NOT1 site as a repair template. The introduction of NOT1 site which involve 8 base pair may result in termination of uh, translation. A custom designed JFN was used to deliver site specific uh, double strand breaks to the telomeric portion of the mixed lineage uh, leukemia gene breakpoint cluster region and to analyze chromosomal rearrangements related to MLL uh, leukomogenesis via DSB error repair in a study using a human lymphoblast cell line derived from chronic myeloid leukemia uh, patients. Using tailored ZFNs which encourage the disruption of endogenous T cell receptors and chain genes, successful targeted modulation was also accomplished. ZFN treated uh, lymphocytes proliferated with an increase in interleukin 7 and interleukin 15 but lacked the surface of uh, surface expression of the CD3 uh, TCR. Another novel therapeutic uh, ZFN specifically killed human T cell leukemia virus type 1 infected cells in an in vivo model of adult T cell leukemia by targeting the promoter function of long terminal repeat from HTLV1. The introduction of HER2 positive CPP coupled to mammalian mTOR specific JDFN rendered the mTOR locus inactive and blocked important cancer signaling pathways 
offering insight into the creation of innovative molecular targeted treatments for breast cancer in particular and other forms of uh, cancer. Jadefins have also been applied to optimize T cell mediated anti tumor therapy. For example, glioblastoma specific cytolytic T lymphocytes can be created by introducing a chimeric TCA containing an extracellular IL-13 domain in a cytoplasmic CD3 domain into CD8 plus T cells. To do this, Rack et al. used Jadefins to knock out the glucocorticoid receptor in modified cytolytic uh, T lymphocytes. As a result, despite the presence of glucocorticoid treatment immunosuppressive, the cytolytic activity of Jitakine transgenic CTLs against glioblastomas was sustained. This method has uh, recently been shown to be successful in removing glucose transport related genes uh, from two glycolytic tumor models, colon, uh, colon adenocarcinoma and uh, glioblastoma. Uh, the application of talon in personalized medicine. The use of talons to efficiently disrupt the endogenous genes, anti F3 and CCF5 in human leukemia cells by the insertion of NSEG or HDR induced alteration into a coding region revealed that talents could be tailored for selective endogenous gene cleavage. Precise disruptions have also been introduced into the T cell receptor alpha constant track gene and CD52 gene in allogenic T cells by talent induced HDR. The retroviral vector engineered talent expressed a chimeric antigen receptor targeting CD19 plus leukemic B cells which helped to develop the universal CAR T cells. Recent research has also showed that the talent gene editing technology uh, which is used to knock out genes in cancer cells uh, including cells from prostate cancer, breast cancer and hepatocellular carcinoma is a powerful and broadly applicable platform for investigating gene mutations at the uh, molecular level. Uh, it has been reported that the expression of uh, IL-6 an important factor required for tumor growth and metastasis in hepatocellular carcinoma could be disrupted by talents. Talents were also used to target human papillomavirus E7 and E6 oncoproteins which cause malignant conversion in cervical cancer. It was observed that the editing efficiency of E7 gene in cervical cancer cells was around 10 to 12 percent. In addition, the cell that induced by talent editing was shown to be tightly associated with cell uh, necrosis. In this figure in A, we can see the RTPC analysis for the transcripts corresponding to E7 and uh, E6 showed a significant reduction in treated group when compared to the uh, control group. In figure B, we can see uh, the graphs which represents uh, expression levels of uh, E7 and E6 uh, in control uh, and in the uh, treated groups. Uh, immunocytochemical analysis also indicated that E7 protein levels were significantly decreased in talent treated CH cells uh, HIJ when compared to the control from e, uh, E2G. Uh, the development of CRISPR Cas based approaches opens up a new opportunity for customized genetic element screening, including the identification of gene and enhancers uh, that affect many aspects of cancer growth and the subsequent development of treatments. The ultimate objective of CRISPR Cas9 cancer treatment is to eliminate uh, malignant mutations and replace them with normal DNA uh, sequences. Let us discuss about the CRISPR-Cas9 application in personalized uh, cancer therapy and its potential. Uh, the the CRISPR-Cas9 techniques offer enormous potential for cancer detection uh, as below. Uh, it CRISPR-Cas9 based diagnostic system SARLOC specific high sensitivity enzymatic reporter unlocking and uh, detector DNA endonucleus targeted CRISPR trans reporter for cancer diagnostics providing T cell receptor knockout TCRKO. Uh, chimeric antigen receptor T cells, CAR T cells about which we have uh, discussed at length uh, in the earlier lecture also. Uh, knockout of inhibitory receptors such as PD-1, program cell that protein 1 and leg 3 lymphocyte activation gene 3 to promote the capability of cancer immunotherapy. Elimination of oncogenic virus like uh, HPV and establishment uh, of in vivo tumor models by eliciting uh, mutations in uh, several genes. Genome or subgenome weight CRISPR screens in identification of personalized drug targets. This is one of the key high throughput methods of assaying uh, contributions of hundreds or thousands of genetic elements uh, in parallel. 
genome wide or sub pool CRISPR screens are employed using guide RNA libraries. A guide RNA library is a collection of multiple sets of guide RNAs. Each guide RNA sets a uh, targets an annotated genetic element in the genome. Cast and expression is attained either by incorporation of its expression cassette in the SGRNA backbone or by using a separate plasmid. If all the genetic elements in a genome is targeted, the screen is called as genome wide screen. On the other hand, screens targeting only a subset of genetic elements uh, like oncogenes, tumor suppressor genes, angiogenic genes, metastatic genes or stemness genes are known as sub pool screens. The resultant plasmid pool is amplified in a uh, bacterial system. The representation of guide RNAs in the plasmid pool or the pool of cells initially infected with lentivirus is determined by next generation sequencing. In recent years, CRISPR skins have been widely used by many to identify the genes that contribute to several hallmarks of cancer progression including primary tumor growth, drug resistance, epithelial to mesenchymal transition, cancer stemness, uh, metabolic adaptation and uh, metastasis. Bulk and single cell screening can be practiced with patient derived organoids and uh, patient derived genographs to model patient specific responses to therapeutic regimens, metastatic heterogeneity and further identification of individualized drug targets. Even though loss of function and gain of function screens have been utilized uh, to detect causal genetic elements of diverse cancer phenotypes, not many have strived to understand the effect of that initial heterogeneity of cell clones on the result of the screen. Many genome wide CRISPR schemes have been performed with incorporation of barcodes in the guide RNA library to trace behavior of cell clones. Guide RNA barcode combinations are produced by introducing the barcode either exterior or within the guide RNA scaffold and works as unique molecular identifiers. The CRISPR UMI technique is more suited to explore and the underlying heterogeneity of cancer phenotypes because it can statistically normalize the effect of clone dynamics on relative abundance of uh, guide RNAs. This figure shows the workflow of the CRISPR UMI pool screen for the discovery of therapeutic targets specific to cancer patients. Uh, barcoded guide RNA libraries are used for ex vivo patient derived organoid based or in vivo patient derived genograph based CRISPR schemes which address the issue of random clonal drift in the cell population that is being assayed to identify individualized therapeutic targets with greater statistical uh, influence. So, we have a uh, cancer patients from which uh, we obtain a uh, tumor and have a pool of cells uh, to be uh, screened and there is the lentiviral uh, transduction where we have the U6 promoter guide uh, sequence scaffold uh, and barcode and this is the guide RNA uh, cassette or CRISPR UMA guide RNA library in all in one vector. And due to this lentiviral transduction we get a initial uh, cell library which may uh, go for uh, genomic DNA um, uh, sequencing uh, or uh, ASTS uh, and finally there will be uh, data analysis and uh, on the other hand uh, these initial cell library uh, can be used uh, for developing of uh, patient derived uh, uh, organoid uh, studies or the patient derived uh, uh, genograft studies and there is a a selection pressure due to primary tumor growth, uh, metastasis, uh, drug resistance and uh, we obtain the final uh, cell library uh, as a result of this. Uh, and then uh, these data uh, along with uh, the original uh, initial cell library data uh, we go for sequencing and then uh, the uh, data analysis. So, this will give us information on the guide RNA total count uh, analysis and the lineage uh, dropout analysis from which we uh, try to develop the individualized uh, therapeutic uh, target. Uh, Non-small cell uh, lung cancer NC, uh, NSCLC uh, accounts for 80 percent of all lung cancer and is a leading cause of uh, cancer related deaths well worldwide. Currently immune checkpoint inhibitors targeting either program cell death protein 1 or PDL1 have become part of the standard treatment for late stage PDL1 expressing uh, NSCLC with no molecular drivers. To determine whether PD1 edited autologous T cells can be a viable uh, alternative to antibody based immunotherapy such as uh, 
pembrolizumab in cancer treatment and to examine the general safety and feasibility of CRISPR based cell therapy, Lou and colleagues conducted the first inhuman trial of CRISPR edited uh, PD1 ablated T cells in patients with advanced NSCLC. In total, 12 patients received in transfusion of edited T cells and were monitored for up to 96 weeks uh, for treatment related uh, AEs. Uh, they uh, electroporated plasmids uh, expressing Cas9 and guide RNAs targeting the second exon of the PD1 gene to patient derived peripheral blood mononuclear cells in order to produce PD1 ablated T cells. In a dose escalation trial, the transfected cells were grown ex vivo for uh, 17 to 14 days before being reinfused uh, into the uh, patient. So, this figure shows the study designed by Lou et al., where um, PBMCs were uh, isolated uh, from let's these NSCLC patients uh, and then uh, electroporated with plasmid encoding the Cas9 and uh, a pair of gRNAs targeting the second exon of uh, PD-1 uh, gene. The edited uh, T cells were expanded uh, in vitro. There is the expansion of these edited uh, T cells. Uh, for 17 to 40 days as already mentioned before being reinfused uh, back into uh, the patient. Treated patients were monitored for up to uh, 96 weeks for in vivo persistence of edited T cells treatment related AIDS and disease uh, progression. They use both targeted next generation sequencing and unbiased whole genome sequencing to determine uh, the kind and frequency of off-target mutations in order to assess the effects of CRISPR-Cas9 off-target editing in modif modified T cells. Only on average 0.05 percent mutation rate was found in 18 possible off-target locations using high coverage NGS. In contrast, using the reduced coverage WGS technique, no mutations were found in 2086 projected off-target locations. Patients receiving infusions had up to 2 years of treatment related AE monitoring. 11 out of the 12 individuals experience grade uh, 1 by 2 adverse events and no uh, grade uh, 3 plus A's were noted. The 2 year follow up period saw no treatment related dose limiting toxicities indicating that the infusions of PD1 edited T cells were all well tolerated. Let us now discuss about uh, another disease uh, in, in, in context of the personalized medicine uh, cardiovascular diseases. Uh, cardiovascular disease is a severe threat to human health and the leading cause of mortality in many developed countries. A single genetic mutation or a combination of uncommon inherited heterozygous mutations is frequently connected with several distinct forms of cardiovascular disease. Uh, clinical therapies in practice focus on reducing the disease symptoms without addressing the underlying genetic defects. Currently, the development of in vivo CVD models using gene editing technology as well as in-depth analysis of CVD pathogenic genes and their molecular processes have allowed researchers to evaluate potential role of gene therapy to control particular gene expression and enhance gene functions. Various cardiovascular research models have been generated with the use of genome editing uh, technologies. Uh, this figure shows germline and somatic genome editing approaches and uh, treatable uh, uh, cardiovascular uh, conditions like uh, uh, heritable cardiomyopathies, atherosclerosis and uh, lipid disorders and uh, heritable uh, er uh, aerotamic uh, uh, disorders. In normal uh, human endothelial cells, uh, Abrahami et al. use CRISPR-Cas9 to efficiently ablate mesohistocompatibility complex class 2 with double gene knockout. These cells hold the ability to form vascular structures without activating allogenic CD4 plus T cells. It is promising to apply such technology in the field of allograph bioengineering, including the refinement of heart transplant. An autosomal uh, dominant condition known as uh, PRKA G2 cardiac syndrome is induced uh, by a mutation uh, in the gene, which codes for the AMP activated protein kinase 2 regulatory subunit. According to a new study, uh, PRKG2 uh, heart syndrome and other dominant hereditary heart disorders can be effectively treated using CRISPR-Cas9 technology to target and destroy specific deleterious uh, mutations uh, in vivo. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease of cardiac muscle 
that results in ventricular hypertrophy and has a propensity for uh, arrhythmias, uh, syncope and heart failure. A number of sarcomeric gene mutations have been linked to the condition mutations in uh, MYBPC3, uh, myosin binding protein C uh, account for around one third of all ACM in humans as well as a considerable number of cases of hereditary dilated and non-compaction uh, cardiomyopathy. Uh, uh, MYBPC3 mutation in human germ cells has been corrected successfully using CRISPR-Cas9 through microinjection of Cas9 protein with gRNA and SSODN uh, DNA into human zygotes produced by fertilization of healthy donors uh, oocytes with sperm from a male donor with heterozygous for uh, MYBPC3 uh, uh, mutation. Uh, recently, gene editing platforms have been developed as antiviral treatments for treating infectious diseases either by modifying host genes needed by the virus or by targeting viral genes essential for replication. Currently, genome editing based HIV therapy involves a production of HIV resistance uh, CD4 uh, plus T cells by modifying infection related genes and subsequently infusing the edited cells uh, into uh, patients. The anti-HIV effectiveness of the ZFN system was initially demonstrated in preclinical test using primary human CD4 plus T cells in 2008. ZFN delivered by the chimeric AD5 uh, oblique F35 adenoviral vector disrupted almost 50 percent of the CCR5 alleles. A patient was functionally cured of HIV infection in 2009 after receiving allogenic stem cells from a donor with homozygous CCR5 uh, uh, D32 allele. Uh, indicating that uh, or delta 32 allele indicating that it is possible to gain HIV resistance by initiating imitating natural homozygous CCR5 uh, delta 32 mutations via genome editing technology. We have discussed about these in length uh, earlier uh, under the uh, lectures on ZFN as well as uh, Talon and CRISPR-Cas9. The persistent expression of high risk uh, human papillomavirus oncogenes E6 and E7 have been linked to malignant transformation and is significantly linked to cervical cancer. The targeted mutagenesis of such high risk HPV genes using gene editing tools might be used as a possible genetic treatment to reverse cervical cancer in C2. It has been reported that ZFN mediated HPV 16, 18, E7 DNA disruption can directly decrease the expression of E7 which results in effect efficient growth inhibition and type specific apoptosis in HPV 16. Uh, oblique 18 positive cervical cancer cells uh, in vitro. Uh, clinical trials. Analyzing clinical trial data revealed a recent shift in the chosen genome editors as well as a sharp increase in registered trials using genome editors. The initial registered trial is from 2009 and between uh, 2009 and 2015 less than or equal to 2 trials were registered per year all of which focused on jet However, in 2016 and 17 the number of trials jumped to 10 per year with a further increase to 13 trials in 2018. 2016 was also the first year talents and Cas9 trials were registered reflecting a change in the genome editing agent as well as a number of trials. The data may be subdivided by delivery method to see how the method Susan has shifted over time. For example, early trials entirely used adenovirus based delivery. Whereas later trials also use adeno associated virus polymer mediated plasmid delivery and elect operation. Choice of in vivo versus ex vivo delivery also has changed over time. And you can see here the data starting from 2009 uh, to 2019 and uh, the num number of JDFN uh, uh, trials increasing and then decreasing and again increasing and decreasing and increasing. And uh, in 2009, uh, not a single uh, ZFN trial uh, can be reported as seen by this uh, green colored uh, column. And you can see for the first time the appearance of uh, in uh, ZFN, uh, sorry, uh, Talon and, and, and uh, uh, CRISPR Cas9 technology trial in 2016. And uh, over the years, the number of uh, the Cas9 uh, technologies. Uh, picking up somewhere in 2018 and uh, almost uh, similar uh, in, in the other years and while the number of uh, talent trials also uh, significant and, and, and uh, of course there is no any reported 
in the year 2018. Uh, this is uh, the genome editing trials registered in the US clinical trials database by year wise and selected genome editor uh, as I have already shown you uh, the various uh, editing technologies ZF and Kastein. And in figure B you can see the Susan uh, delivery uh, method. So, these are uh, unknown, uh, these are quite uh, significant in a way uh, all only small in 2019. And uh, here you can see the use of uh, plasmids as uh, delivery vehicles and the majority of the times we can see that uh, the electroporation uh, has been used. Uh, and then uh, we have others uh, like AAVs and uh, adenoviruses and you can see uh, the amount uh, or number of trials uh, based on the uh, basis of the uh, delivery uh, method. And uh, uh, they are grouped by in vivo or ex vivo use. So, this is the uh, data uh, for uh, in vivo uh, for and for it and uh, this is the data for ex vivo uh, which is uh, much uh, bigger when compared to uh, in vivo. Now, various uh, delivery vectors uh, are already shown statistically uh, here and uh, this is a table uh, where you can see. Uh, electroporation uh, mostly JFN uh, is uh, using them and particularly six year 5 uh, knockout for uh, HIV uh, is uh, very very uh, prominent among here and you can see um, also uh, some trial for beta uh, thalassemia and uh, uh, many companies like Sangamu Biosciences and then you have the universities of Pennsylvania City Hope uh, Medical Center. Uh, doing these kind of uh, uh, clinical trials uh, with a particular number and date. So, this table shows you mostly about the uh, talent technology uh, being used and uh, target gene and effect like this year uh, alpha, beta, CD52 knockout and uh, the PD1 and uh, CD52 knockout. We have discussed in length about this PD1 uh, earlier. And then uh, most of these are uh, falling into the ex vivo uh, method and uh, you can see uh, these are being uh, conducted by uh, multiple countries uh, UK, USA, France, uh, Belgium and also uh, in certain uh, cases. Uh, for example, here is the data for the cast line again the delivery vector is either electroporation or undefined. But here you can see uh, then countries like uh, uh, Asian countries like China uh, has also been uh, involved uh, in this kind of uh, trials uh, including European countries like Germany and uh, of course, uh, Australia which is altogether in a different uh, zone and uh, continent. Now, this is the industry sponsored CRISPR uh, research for uh, human therapies. Um, you can see uh, companies like CRISPR therapeutics. Uh, Intelia Therapeutics, Editas uh, uh, Medicine and uh, the preclinical discoveries involved in with diseases like beta thalassemia, sickle cell disease, anti CD19, allogenic CAR T and hemophilia uh, DMD. Uh, then you have acute uh, myeloid leukemia, uh, then uh, you have hepatitis B and uh, so on and uh, so forth and also in certain cases certain collaborators like Vartex and Kasabia is involved with uh, CRISPR therapeutics. Then you have Novartis and uh, Regeneron uh, is uh, collaboration collaborating with the Intelia therapeutics uh, here and then Juno uh, therapeutics and Beam therapeutics uh, is our collaborative partners of uh, Editas uh, medicine. There are certain issues which limits in vivo clinical use of uh, CRISPR. Although both ex vivo and in vivo human clinical studies have already started and we have also discussed uh, many examples. There are still certain problems that may restrict the therapeutic applications of CRISPR in vivo. Uh, for example, while AAV delivery is beneficial for gene therapy as it provides the opportunity of long term expression, this may lead to unwanted effects as the CRISPR enzyme would be expressed uh, indefinitely. Uh, Non-viral uh, uh, delivery may allow temporal control of CRISPR activity, but the efficacy has traditionally been lower than viral delivery. Although recent work with lipid nanoparticles so promise for highly efficient non-viral 
vectors. That specificity of delivery is also uh, essential as in some cases a specific organ or cell type must be targeted. Uh, most in vivo clinical trials target tissues with direct access such as the cervix or eye or alterations in liver. As the field expands to more disease targets, the ability to target the therapy either through controlled tissue specific expression of Cas9 or cell specific targeting will become uh, more important. What are the limitations of personalized therapy or medicine? Uh, in terms of customized precision medicine, there is a trade off between convenience and cost. From a practical perspective, the higher the degree of precision, the more complex the healthcare service will be. Gaining regulatory, uh, regulatory clearances will become more challenging as engineered precision medicine will need to be exceedingly versatile to address the demands of different patients. Only a small number of uh, healthcare related problems may benefit from uh, precision medicine given our present understanding of uh, human uh, physiology. Uh, there will be a greater need of uh, professionals uh, with knowledge in genetics and engineering compared to traditional medicine. Clinicians will need to have a basic grasp of diverse materials in order to employ devices made of modified biomaterials. While the majority of individuals may be comfortable sharing real time data from therapeutic devices, other people may not agree to disclose their static data. Uh, like their genetic uh, information. Our uh, capacity to manage big data which includes genetics, sensing, imaging and other accessible health information is the foundation of precision medicine. In long run, uh, we should be able to maintain records of people's health uh, from conception until passing as well as from uh, molecular uh, to societal uh, level. Uh, thank you for your patient hearing. With this, we come to an end of our discussion on personalized uh, medicine.